slide yes. <clears throat> so if you look at what we have been discussing till now and what we intend to discuss today, we have been trying to understand the harmony in human being. Right? So in order to ensure continuity of happiness, we have to understand the harmony and live in harmony at all levels of our being. Starting from the harmony in the individual, harmony in the human being. In the process of understanding this harmony in human being, we found that the human being is coexistence of self and body. And <clears throat> the need, the activity, the response of the self and that of the body are very different. And we can study that, we can understand that. <clears throat> now, with this background, <clears throat> we will try to see how this body and self are transacting with each other. So what is the transaction between the self and the body? And we will also see how this, you know, self takes care of the body. So how this harmony in this self, you know, leads to harmony with the body. So let us look at that. <clears throat> so these are few statements that we have made. Uh, so we have been work, discussing on this harmony in human being and there you know, we have been discussing this harmony between the self and the body or the coexistence between the self and the body. Yeah, next. Next, Rajulji. Can we go to the next? Yes, next. Yeah, next. Ah, okay, back. Back, back, back. We go. Yes, back. So let us first see this that there is this transaction between the self and the body which is taking place and this transaction is in the form of information that is self is giving some instruction to the body and self is reading some sensation from the body so if i happen to like eating a particular sweet the taste of the sweet I instruct the body to walk to the sweet shop, take out the money, pay the money, pick up the sweet, put it in the mouth. Right? All these instructions I am giving to the body. And body does according to what I instruct it to do. Body does what I instruct the body to do. When this sweet comes in contact with the tongue, then there is a sensation and I read that sensation. Right. And if that sensation happens to be in accordance with my expectation of the sensation, then I feel happy about it. If it is not in accordance with my expectation of the sensation, I feel unhappy about it. Now, if you look at this whole process, what is happening is that self is giving some instruction to the body and body is doing accordingly. The self is reading some sensation from the body by choice and based on the sensation that it reads, and the expectation of sensation that it has, it becomes happy or unhappy. So essentially what it means is that self is giving instruction to the body 
and self is reading some sensation from the body. And this is the transaction that is going on between the self and body. This is the transaction that is going on between the self and the body. And this is very important to understand. In fact, you know, if we understand this transaction properly, then we can understand many of things that we are doing with the body and through the body. So whatever we as self are doing with the body, we can understand by understanding this transaction. And many are the things that we are doing with the world outside through the body, that also we can understand. So this is something important to understand. The transaction between the self and the body. When we are try understanding this, one important observation is that when I am giving some instruction to the body, this is just giving some information to the body. Right? Nothing physical is given. Similarly, when I am reading some sensation from the body, for example, the taste of the sweet, right? What I am getting is just the information. As far as the sweet is concerned, once it goes down the throat, now it is part of the body. The self does not get anything out of this sweet in physical terms. So that sensation, if it happened to be of the liking of the self, it will feel happy. If it is not of the liking of the self, the self will feel unhappy. As far as the sweet is concerned, it will be part of the body. If it is good for health, it will nurture the body. If it is not good for health, it will harm the body. But physically, it is a part of the body now, not part of the self. So this transaction of information is taking place between the self and the body, and there is no material transaction. This we should understand. This we should be able to explore and understand. That the transaction between the self and the body is only in the form of information and no transaction is taking place. And of course we can see that the decision of this transaction is taken by the self both way. This decision for transaction of information with the body is taken by the self both way. When self is giving some instruction to the body, it is the decision of the self. When self is reading some sensation from the body, it is the decision of the self. But these are things which we have to start working on, start exploring. Right? And <clears throat> the self, if it becomes aware and it becomes, you know, observant, it is able to see all this. So this we have to work on. This we have to work on as we go along. But these are some of the important, you know, kind of proposals regarding the transaction between the self and the body. So with this background, then we can, you know, proceed that if we look at this status now, I am there and my body is there. This I can observe, I can see. I can see that I want to live. And in the process of this living, I am using the body as an instrument. I am using the body as an instrument. Then I can see that I just don't want to live only, you know, I want to live with continuous happiness. Right. I want to live with continuous happiness. I, the self, want to live with continuous happiness. I 
and in the process i see that i am using the body as an instrument in the process i can see that i am using the body as an instrument right so this example we saw about it you know liking the taste of the sweet right this is the liking of the self and for getting this sensation this taste the self is asking the body to walk to the sweet shop pay money take the sweet put it in the mouth and all that right so i am using the body as an instrument the basic thing is that i want to live and live with continuous happiness in order to live with continuous happiness i am using the body as an instrument and when i am using the body as an instrument it is my responsibility to take care of body so whatever i am using as an instrument it is my responsibility to take care of it so in that sense it is my responsibility to ensure nurturing of the body protection of the body and right utilization of the body right and this is the feeling of sayam this is the feeling of self regulation because the self is using the body as an instrument therefore it has the responsibility to take care of the body and this feeling of responsibility is what we are calling as self regulation and under this self regulation self is taking care of nurturing of the body protecting of the body and right utilization of the body and in order to do this right it is recognizing the need of physical facility for nurturing of the body for protection of the body for right utilization of the body and that is how the need for physical facility is identified so what we are saying is physical facility is required for nurturing the body protection of the body and right utilization of the body but who is seeing this the self right who is taking this responsibility the self responsibility for nurturing protection and right utilization of the body and for that physical facility is required now when we look at our program of ensuring continuity of happiness right so this need of the self to ensure continuity of happiness is fulfilled by understanding the harmony and living in harmony at all levels of our being starting from self to entire existence starting from individual to family to society to nature and existence and this is the program to ensure continuity of happiness for myself so when i am trying to ensure this continuity of happiness i have to understand the harmony and live in harmony at all levels and out of that one is harmony in human being okay. there is four levels we have identified one of them is harmony in human being so when we are trying to ensure this harmony in human being it is just one fourth of the total you know thing and when we are trying to ensure the <coughs> harmony in human being one part of it is that i am trying to ensure the harmony with the body so harmony of myself with the body so and in order to ensure this harmony with the body i am trying to ensure the physical facility which is required for ensuring the harmony with the body so basically if we look at this physical facility now we can see that the physical facility has to be produced for nurturing protection and right utilization of the body 
which is a part of my program for ensuring continuity of ensuring this harmony in the human being so basically this physical facility and its production is related to this overall scheme of ensuring continuity of happiness for the self so therefore we have said that this production of physical facility the protection of physical facility and right utilization of physical facility is a part of my program it is not my total program so i have to ensure the health of the body in order to ensure health of the body that is you know, ensuring the nurturing protection and right utilization of the body i have to take care of you know the, i have to have the necessary physical facility and therefore i have to produce necessary physical facility so i have to take care of the production protection and right utilization of the physical facility <coughs> in order to ensure my harmony with the body so this program for production protection and right utilization of physical facility is just a part of my program you know, less than one fourth so out of four harmony that we have to ensure to ensure continuity of happiness one is harmony in human being and a part of that is ensuring harmony with the body harmony of cell with the body so we are saying all this activity of production protection and right utilization of physical facilities only a part of my program and it is in fact less than 1/4 1/4 one so this is another thing that we have to you know verify very important conclusion that as far as physical facility is concerned at the most it can occupy one fourth of our total program but what we are doing today is that we are putting in all our efforts and time in this physical facility and physical facility also we have three things production protection and right utilization of physical facility we are not even paying much attention to right utilization right we are in fact not even paying much attention to production what we are interested in, in is consumption we want to consume more and more that is that has become our interest and who wants to consume the self so this self without right understanding and right feeling can be a liability which it has become so this is what we can see we can understand you know we can explore and understand about the self about the body about the transaction between the self and the body and about you know how the body how the self is using the body as an instrument for its own purpose of ensuring living with continuous happiness yes <clears throat> and when we study all this one important conclusion that we can draw is this that i am the seer i am the doer and i am the experiencer so this self is the seer the self is the doer in self is this experiencer the enjoyer and in the process self is using the body as an instrument self is using the body as an instrument right for what purpose for ensuring the fulfillment of the need of the self that is continuous happiness so let's look at this this is very important you know it will clarify what uh, sridharan ji was asking you know that self is projected as something very good and body is projected as something very bad no that is not the case we are saying self is responsible because self is taking the decision body is used as an instrument so you cannot fix up the responsibility with the body self is responsible so if i as a human being doing something good self is responsible if i as human being is doing something bad self is responsible 
because I am taking the decision, I myself is taking the decision, and I am using the body as an instrument. The body is not responsible for good or for bad. Right. So let's look at that. So number one, we are saying the self is this here. So self is the one which sees, right? Which understands. So I understand. The self understands. Things self is seeing the things, and in the process of seeing things, I might you might use the five senses of the body. I can use the five senses of the body. So this example we have taken that if we are you know given a pen or something in the in your hand. You look at that, and you say, "This is a pen." Right. Now, who has identified it as a pen? Right. Is it the self, or it is? Is it the body? So you can see that <coughs> you look at this pen through this sight. So your eyes, which is part of the body, from there you conclude something about the shape of that pen. Right. But this shape at only is not enough. What you conclude from there is much more. You know, you say that is here is a pen which can be used for writing. And it is not just this, you know, ordinary pen. It is a marker, you know, which can be used to write on the whiteboard. Okay. Now, all this thing you are concluding from the sight that you saw through the eyes, through the body. So you can see that you get some information through the body. But what you see, what you conclude from there, is much more than what you see through the eyes. And not only that, the decision to see something through the eyes is taken by the self. Right. So there is a pen on this table. Right. But if I don't pay attention to that, I don't see that pen. While it is there, right, on the table, it might even be on in the sight of the eyes, the physical eyes. But if I am not paying attention, I am not taking note of it. If self is not paying attention, it is not taking note of it. So many times you will see, so many things are there in your sight. In your sight, in the sense that, as far as physical eyes are concerned, they, you know, these many things are being reflected in these eyes. But you are not paying attention, and therefore you are not seeing it. So many sounds, for example. Keep on going around, but you don't pay attention to them. Right. For example, you can hear this. You know, there is this sound of uh, this bell ringing in the temple. Right. So we have a temple nearby, and every day there is this aarti at six thirty. Now you can. Hear this sound, okay? If you pay attention to it, but many of you would not have heard this sound before, even though it was ringing every day six thirty. Because you were not paying attention to it, you were paying attention to my voice. So that sound was important for this yourself. 
and therefore you are listening to that sound and not paying attention to the sound of the bell ringing so so many things are there available for the senses of the body but you decide what is important for you and what you know we have to pay attention to so like that all the five senses are just the instrument that enables the self to see something outside so this is something now you have to be aware and see in all your transaction with the world outside you are using the body as an instrument you are using the these five senses of the body as and when required right as and when required it is not necessary that all the time you are accessing the information through the body right for example you can see that you can see outside and identify this sound right but you also have the capacity to see within right you have the capacity to see within for example you can see your imagination that is going on you can see your desire you can see your thoughts can see it through the senses also it can take help of the senses of the body if necessary but it can also see within right see its thoughts its desires right and when we are it is looking at the imagination at the thought it does not have to involve the body right so when you say you are feeling happy or you are feeling angry or you are feeling depressed this you do not have to see through the body you can see directly yourself and your state of the self so we can see that ultimately now the self sees or understands things sometimes with the help of the body sometimes without the help of the body right so the body is used as an instrument as and when required it is the self who is seeing things it is the self who is understanding things and it is taking help of the body as and when required so this is one important observation the self is the seer and the body is used in the as an instrument in the process as if, as as and when necessary so this is one important observation the second important observation is that i am the doer the self is the doer so doer means the one that i does who takes the decision to do so we call him doer if he is taking the decision if self is taking the decision then self is the doer the body is taking the decision then the body is the doer so now you can check when you decide to do something right who takes the decision the self or the body so if you study yourself you can see that it is the self who is taking the decision right what to do how to do right and when i take a decision i act accordingly i act at the level of self and if necessary i act at the level of body also <laughs> and here again i involve the body if i think it is necessary it is useful to involve the body if i think that there is no need to involve the body i don't involve the body for example when i am thinking right i am imagining things and i have not decided then i have nothing to give as an instruction to the body i don't have to involve the body i just have to work with my own imagination 
right? So this involvement of the body is not required. And in fact, we will see that this involvement of the body is undesirable. In fact, many of the problems that we see at the level of body, you know, is because we are unnecessarily involving the body when we are in the process of deciding things. So when I'm confused about something and I'm not able to take the decision, in the meantime, do I need to pass the information to the body? Certainly not, but we do it. So when you get angry, the breathing of your body becomes abnormal. Your heartbeat becomes abnormal. Right? Who is in confusion, the self or the body? So if self is in confusion, self should decide what to do, what not to do. Before that, it should not involve the body, it should not give instruction to the body. So many of these problems, physical problems that we see is because the self is involving the body even where it is not necessary to involve the body and it is not even useful for to involve the body. So we will see that, you know, this psychosomatic disease, what we call, can be understand, understood in the light of this. So essentially what we are saying that when we look at ourselves, look at this transaction with the body, and what we do through the body with the world outside. We can see that it is the self who is taking the decision. And if necessary, it is involving the body as an instrument. Right. So the self is the doer. I am the doer. Body is used as an instrument. The third important thing is we can see that I am the experiencer, I am the enjoyer. Right? So enjoyer means the one that experiences happiness, unhappiness. Right? One feels the harmony or disharmony, contradiction. So I am the one that feels and you know enthused or depressed. I am the one who feels angry or delighted. Right? So in that sense, I am the experiencer, I am the enjoyer. The body is used as an instrument. So these three observations, you know, and take it as a proposal to begin with and start you know, observing it, working on it. Then we'll see that, you know, I am the self is the seer, the doer, and the enjoyer. And the body is used as an instrument, as and when required, not always. So this is the essence of what uh, you know we have. Uh, to look into in this session. So in a sense, we can see now that human being is coexistence of self and body. The self is the seer, doer and the enjoyer. It is central to human existence and it is using the body as an instrument. The need of the self is continuous happiness, which is fulfilled through understanding the harmony and living in harmony at these four levels. And while ensuring the harmony at the level of human being, we have to take care of this body and take care of the need of the body. And in order to take care of the need of the body, we have to ensure this protection, protection and right utilization of the physical facility, which is just a part of my program. Today we are you know, involving 100% of our time or most of our time for this production of physical facility, or ensuring physical facility, not even production. So this is the part of the program, this facility, physical facility, ensuring physical facility, ensuring this production, protection and utilization of physical facility is only a part of my program, less than one fourth. And as we said, the body is used as an instrument in the process. Right? And the transaction that is taking place between me and the body is always in the form of information, in the form of I, as self giving some instruction to the body and I as self reading some instruction, some sensation from the body. So this is the essence of what uh, you know, we had to uh, discuss in this session, in this lecture. Okay. So in the light of this, now we will open to. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you, sir.